If you have been looking for a free wall Pilates plan, I'm excited to tell you I've created a seven day wall Pilates plan right here on my YouTube channel, Rachel's Fit Pilates. Now, if you're wondering about me, my name is Rachel. I'm a certified Pilates instructor and occupational therapist, and I create Pilates and fitness workouts right here on my YouTube channel, Rachel's Fit Pilates. Now, if you're wondering what wall Pilates is, Wall Pilates is doing Pilates moves against the wall. So this can create more of a challenge for bridging exercises, for ab exercises, and it can also make some of the Pilates moves simpler and a smaller range of motion, which can make it great for beginners. So I invite you to try this Wall Pilates challenge if you are a beginner, if you are new to Pilates, or if you want to do Pilates for cross training, maybe you play a sport, you want to work on strength, stability, especially through the core, these are great workouts to do. And one of the best ways we can increase adherence to any type of plan is to do it with someone else. So I invite you to find a friend or family member to do the workouts together. And don't worry if you cannot do the plan seven days in a row, you could always do it every other day, stretch it out for 14 days. Or if you take a few days off, just pick up where you left off. The workouts will be listed in order on the playlist, so it'll be easy to find where your spot is. I'm so excited for you to try wall Pilates. I incorporate wall Pilates, reformer, and mat exercises into my workouts, so I hope that you find something unique and interesting and enjoyable. I'll have an image of the plan at the end of this video. You can click the link below in my description to access the plan or to print it off if you like. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions about the plan or about wall Pilates. I'd be happy to answer them and let's get started. All right, so here is the plan. I am wearing ankle weights in a few of the workouts, but that is not necessary. You could definitely do the workouts without it. And if you are a beginner, I almost encourage you to not use them at first, and then maybe the second time around, if you wanna go through the plan another week, you can try it with the ankle weights and see if you progress in your strength. And workout number five has a ball, but again, that is optional and you can apply resistance with your hands. And if you have already done a few of these workouts before, I invite you to try the plan and do them again. It's a great way to work on those foundational moves and to see if you continue to progress in strength. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and let's get started.